This is Sean from SRK Cycles and Bikes and Beards. And uh, I want to tell you this crazy, crazy story. I'm over here in uh, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Hometown, riding a uh, street glide, 35 miles an hour, yellow cone. And, uh, you know, I was I was laying in my bed last night, and I'm trying to think of another story I could do for a mono vlog, and this story came up, and I'm like, oh, my God, this story has to be told. I love telling it. People love hearing it. So about 10, 8 years ago, maybe, I don't know, eight, maybe 8 years ago, um, I rented a barn. It was a big barn. It was at least that, that big. Uh, it was in Mannheim. Like, back in Mannheim, almost closer to Lebanon. I rented this big barn just to keep my extra cars in and this junk. I don't, somehow I was acquiring a lot of stuff and I had a couple extra cars. I needed spice for them. I lived in the city. And uh, my buddies all put their junk there also. And I bought a Bronco from my brother. You know, I'm talking like Eddie Bauer. It's like the Eddie Bauer Bronco, you know, similar to what, like, OJ was driving down this, you know, big full-size Bronco. I think it was a 93. Um, red, Eddie Bauer. Check it out. They look awesome. I bought one for my brother. Had a bad engine. I think I paid 500 bucks for it. Or maybe it was his. I don't know. It was someone's Bronco was in my barn. And I uh, had real nice, you know, the Eddie Bauer interior. It was real nice looking. It was, nice, it was real nice inside. Big old couch seats and stuff like that. And one day I go back into the, uh, I go into the barn and I'm sitting in the truck. I'm looking at something. I don't know why I'm in there. And I see, I look, I look behind me and there's like a little, like, like for use of a better word, a little like scandalous leopard skin looking tiny little dress. You know, it was like, like a size like one or size zero, you know, it's pretty small. Um... And then there's a, a bra. There's a bra back there. And then there's like a pair of panties back there. The bra was like some pink or, you know, some brightly cut, you know, the type of like stuff that people want to be seen. And so at first I'm like, what the heck? So I'm like, I just assumed. I'm like, okay, okay. Some kids, some kids went back there and they're fooling around and stuff like that. And, and that was kind of it for the next couple months. And then I, something about it, my mind, my mind kind of went back towards that that thought and I'm like wait a second nobody you don't go sneaking around in barns as kids fooling around and then leave without your clothes so I started thinking about it you know at first this is like some see some kids some teenage kids fooling around but you don't go home naked you just don't do it it doesn't happen and then I kind of started thinking, I'm like, what, what happened to that girl? Where, you know what I mean? And then, so this went from like innocent kids goofing around, you know, fooling around. Like it's not that innocent, but to me thinking, did something happen to that girl? You know, was she like a prostitute that got killed? You know, I like, I don't know. Uh, never really heard anything about it. I think I, in my mind, I think I threw the clothes away or something, but I thought about telling the police, like, hey, I found these, and just telling them, and maybe it would fit together with another story, but I just, I don't know if it ever happened. It was a long time ago. Never heard anything about it since. Never heard, like, missing girl, lost her clothes, or anything like that. So, I don't know. You guys tell me, what do you think happened to her? What do you think was going on in there? Maybe there's something about it, I don't know. Maybe there's something where you leave clothes in the back of someone's truck, and that's like a thing. I don't know. They were definitely not the clothes of anyone I ever knew, or would know. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure of that. But uh, I thought it was crazy. I thought it was a story that someone needed to hear. All right, guys, check back. I'm gonna start doing more moto vlogging. <coughs> Caleb's also doing moto vlogging. And we're just having a lot of fun riding bikes uh, instead of working. All right, guys. Subscribe. See you later.